My name is Jay Leone. I am a lab manager for Avaya Communications, a leader in enterprise communications applications. My job at Avaya is to maintain the R&D labs for both the developers and testers to develop our applications. I support three major development labs in Pune, India, Westminster, Colorado, and Milpitas, California. And those labs support hundreds of developers. Prior to using virtualization, we had conventional labs. Hundreds of servers and desktops that developers would have to go to the lab, sit in front of multiple screens, use KVMs, ghosting to create new environments. Uh, sometimes environments could take days, if not weeks, to set up uh, if you had to order new equipment. The biggest constraint that we had prior to virtualization was the need for so many different machines. Every developer had to have not only their own machine, but oftentimes 10, 20, even 30 machines just to test a particular application. Virtualization allowed us to deploy complex development environments in minutes. It also meant that we had to have a much more robust, high performance infrastructure to support these environments for the developers to give them the same look and feel that a conventional server had. With conventional I.O. hardware, we were facing challenges of cabling, uh, space, management, as well as heating and cooling. We also needed to get more performance, more bandwidth to each of the servers to meet the needs of the developers. We started looking at upgrading the environment through conventional means. But then we came across this product, Zego, uh, Virtual I.O., and not only could it meet the current demand that I had to uh, increase the performance and bandwidth of my environment, but it dealt with many issues of simplifying it. It's less complex, less cables, much more flexible, and gave me a lot more room to grow that conventional switches couldn't even meet. Zego made it very easy for me to add new servers to the existing environment and bring them online quickly. It also allowed us flexibility to add resources on demand as well as create a high availability infrastructure that we didn't even have before and would have been very cost prohibitive and complex to do in a conventional environment. Once I deployed the Zego hardware, not only did I not have to buy additional switches, but I was able to reclaim those and redeploy those in other environments. Deploying Zego in my development environment allowed me to provide a service to my customers rather than just, here are some machines, do your development, if they go down, then I'll fix them. This provides a much more robust, consistent, and always up environment for them. So there's no downtime for the developer. This is key whenever we do upgrades, whether it's software upgrades or hardware upgrades. It allowed us to perform many more maintenance tasks during the day, during normal business hours, rather than having to set maintenance windows during late evenings and weekends. Zego's become a standardized part of our R&D environments. As I deploy new ones, it will be a part of that infrastructure.